You know, someone might say, who discovered gravity? It wasn't Newton. People way, way before Newton knew about gravity. The first person to fall off a cliff knew about gravity. <laughs> but what Newton discovered was gravity is universal. And that's why my country is different, because of that equation. Because when people found out that there was some universal language that could explain things out in the heavens and here on the earth and inside the earth, and the pattern was just that simple, they started asking, are there patterns to human societies? Are there patterns by which cities will function better? What are these patterns? And they experimented with a pattern that found its birth in America. A whole new way of government that had no king. Except today, of course. But before that, no kings. And it was a system of laws. And that's a law. And this made law very respectable. The fact that things all behaved in a certain way. Not random, but following a pattern. So why is it that the, the moon is round? Why is the earth round? Every part of the earth is pulling nuts up. And if there were a corner sticking out, what would the rest of the world do? It would pull it in. And it would pull it into a shape that would have the smallest distance from the center. And that, of course, is a sphere. You know that. I mean, why do you have bubbles round? They pull together. Not because of gravity, surface tension, to get the minimum possible surface area. And that, of course, is a sphere. So if you blow bubbles, they're round. You look at planets, they're round because gravity's pulling in, pull the cor pu pulling the corners in. And so that equation tells us a lot. Universal law of gravity. Oftentimes you see it in textbooks written like this. And oftentimes there's a car there. Radial distance.